to reclaim their happy endings. Now, it's all about to begin. Again. Hi, it's Dorothy for That's My Entertainment. I'm here with the creators and executive producers of Once Upon a Time. We are so excited for the new season, the reboot of it, and especially for casting uh, Latina Cinderella. Uh, how important is it for you guys to maintain diversity on the show? You know, it, it's really important. We want the show to reflect the world, and we live in a diverse world. I mean, it's very, very exciting, and you know, I loved Mulan, so I loved Jamie's portrayal of that. Yeah, she was awesome. Oh. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, and is there anybody, any characters that you want to bring with you into the new season? Well, I think today we announced we're bringing Tiana in, and we're very excited to finally bring her onto the show. And Makia Cox is playing her, who we wish could have been here today, but she's but her wonderful. Plans canceled due to thunderstorms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's, she's already on a tarmac. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. We look forward to the new season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. you guys are uh, one of the main returning cast members. How are you going to get fans excited for this new reboot for the season? Well, I mean, I, I hope that the, all the people who enjoyed the first version of the show will sort of come back and uh, embrace this new kind of this new show. I think it will be very, very different, but I think there's certain elements that will remain. I think the fact that the hope and 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 happiness in the pursuit of these ideals, I think, will certainly still be there. So I think that's that's the main kind of thing that will be the main similarity, the main difference. I think is because all these the, the characters that you kind of knew and loved have kind of gone, but replaced by others that I hope will be embraced by the audience. Okay. And Colin, it starts out with you as a cop in Seattle. Have yeah. you had any run-ins with the police? Any funny stories about that? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. I'm a very good boy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I don't like the implication. <laughs> well, I mean, everybody's kind of got, you know. <laughs> Maybe I should ask you that. <laughs> now, uh, both of your leading ladies are gone. Who would you hope to become your new love interest? Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Hook. Um, it's difficult, that one, because, you know, it's, it's only a couple of weeks really into the shooting, and it's... It's kind of, I, I find, I'm, I'm missing Emily already, you know, I mean, because she was my buddy and my partner over six years, and it's, it's very difficult that to, um, to even think about any kind of other kind of type of love interest for this character. It just seems really bizarre at the moment. So at, at this stage in the game, I, I, would kind of, I would have to say, I hope he doesn't. I hope they're going to keep him pretty much away from that. I mean, the same, same as for me. Look, I, I've literally spent five years working every single day with, with Jen, so, you know, I miss Jen around and the relationship that Hook and Emma had, I think was very, very special and very unique. Um, so much like Bobby, it's difficult to sort of see Hook as something else. But, but what I will say is for the fans, I can't say too much, but Hook and Emma are happy and it's true love. Oh, that's good. Because you guys had the internet on fire when when she had posted photos of you guys back on set together, shooting for that one episode. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I think look, we've been lucky that uh, so many people have embraced, uh, I guess, Captain Swan, for want of a better term. That's the term that they use. And uh, it was important for, for, for me and, uh, well, for us to, to honor the fans and, and sort of that's what I was so delighted about the musical episode that there was a wedding that they got that happy ending and that the fans who does, who worked so hard to to believe in, in in that relationship get something you know real so but uh, these are different characters of these are different versions of our characters so who knows what's going to happen well thank you guys so much thank you. you guys are the two new uh, one of the main cast members of the reboot for once upon a time and growing up for me once uh, uh, Mulan was just my favorite Disney Played princess. Played by Jamie Chung, who I did Premium Rush with, and I love, love you, Jamie. Amazing. And, and now you're portraying Cinderella, but as a Latina, like, that's pretty badass. How yeah. important is that for you? Yeah, it's really groundbreaking, because I do believe that, you know, these universal themes of these fairy tales, love and struggle and pain, are real for everyone. And I remember reading these stories back in my country and not thinking of, okay, well, I'm reading this book, and the, and it, the illustrations are a, a blonde, white, blue-eyed girl what I really related to was the story and I get to tell the story from my perspective and that's really beautiful and I want people to be able to understand that we live in a world in which everyone should have the opportunity to see themselves in something and someone and I think it's time for us the Latino community to be able to have a uh, a Disney princess yeah absolutely and uh, Andrew you 
we're walking dead fame. Those fans are so hardcore. <laughs> they, they are um, pretty hardcore. And yeah. how, how are you going to incorporate them and bring them into Once Upon a Time? Oh, man. that's a, We should get working on that, right? We need like a, like a PR marketing campaign. Um, if we could keep Henry away from cannibalism, that would probably be good. I don't know that that's necessarily the way to do it. Although, who knows? I, who knows what Eddie and Adam are, are cooking up for this guy? Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, it, it would be great if, uh, if I, I'm sure there's some crossover already with those two fan bases, but um, y you know, the thing about Once Upon a Time is that if you're a fan of good storytelling, you are gonna love this show. You probably already do, and, and they are um, very much continuing in the tradition of, of writing just really fun, intricate, complex uh, stories. So, you know, it's, it's universal, I think. Well, we're so excited to see you guys both on the new season. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. First, before we start, can I just say a yes, queen, evil queen to the outfit oh, here? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know why I just came right? Elvis. <laughs> 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 it was <so> weird. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, and no, Gabrielle, you play Lady Tremaine uh, in the new season, yes, I do. and you were notorious for the Evil Queen. Have you been giving any tips, any passing back and forth the torch of the evilness? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. No, but I will demand advice. Anytime. All right, good. Anytime. Because I need all the help I can get to be evil. Mm, who knows? I'm just getting to know her, but <laughs> I'm sure there's some evil in there somewhere. Well, we are very excited to see you both in the new season of Once Upon a Thank Time. You. Thank you, guys. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you. Find your story when a new book opens and Once Upon a Time returns on a new night. Fridays beginning October 6th. ABC. I'm Dorothy for That's My Entertainment. That was so awesome to catch up with the cast of Once Upon a Time. Make sure you like and subscribe to check out the rest of our Comic Con footage. That's My Entertainment. What's yours?